C from Mudworks Paint Your Own Pottery Studio in Great Neck. Our friends, the town of North Hempstead, asked us to put together some fun winter kits for you all. Let's take a look inside. First, you'll find a snowflake craft kit. You'll get one out of the four designs seen here. You'll also have these little cards, this one explains how the paints work. They're all washable, but you'll also get an apron. Why don't you go ahead and put that on? And if you have some sleeves, let's roll them up. Then we have a ceramic piece nicely wrapped up, a paintbrush, and three colors. We're gonna go ahead and create this penguin ornament. Come help me paint. Let's get started on our penguin. You're gonna have a ribbon, three colors of paint, a brush, and your penguin is nicely wrapped up. We're gonna use that wrapping paper as our placemat so we don't get our table dirty. Another thing you're gonna want is a cup of water and a paper towel so that when you change your colors, you can clean your brush. You might need help to open up the paints, so feel free to ask your parents for help. When painting, it's best to start with light colors first and do dark colors last. That way, if you make a mistake, it's easiest to fix and to clean up. So the lightest color we have here is our white and our darkest color is our black. So let's get started with the white. We're gonna paint the whole belly. And it's okay if you get out of the lines because like I said before, we can always fix our mistakes since we're doing our lightest color first. And we're gonna paint his face. You can paint right over the eyes, but try to stay away from the beak. Did you know a fun fact about penguins is that when penguins are together in a group, if they're together in a group in the water, it's called a raft. But if they're together in a group on land walking around, it's called a waddle. How funny is that? So I think we got our belly and our face all covered up. We can let the penguin dry a little bit while we wash our brush. To wash our brush, you wanna dip it in the water and mix it around. I like to use the sides to make sure that all the paint came off. And then we're gonna use our napkin to wipe it off. And then I like to do it one more time, just to make sure it's all off. If you have other acrylic paints at home, feel free to use them. If you want to have a blue penguin or a green penguin or even a pink penguin. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the orange. The orange is gonna be for the feet and the beak. There's still a little bit of extra white that's not dry around the beak. So let's start with the feet first. You only need to do one coat like you see here. But if you wanna do more than one coat, that's fine.
When doing the feet, don't forget to do the sides and the back. Since you're going to be hanging this piece, you want to make sure you cover all of it so that no matter what part you see, it's painted. Where are you going to hang up your penguin? You could hang it on your Christmas tree, on your doorknob. If you have a little hook somewhere, maybe you could hang it in your room. Okay, so we finished the feet and now we're going to do the beak. What I like to do for the beak is I like to make sure I don't have too much paint on my brush, so I wipe it off and then I dip just the corner, just like that. And then you carefully go to the face and brush out towards the beak. If the white wasn't dry and mixes in, that's okay. It'll just make a lighter shade of orange. And you can always touch that up at the end. Now that we're done with the orange, we're gonna clean it off in our water. Now our water turned a different color. Okay, so now we're gonna do the black. So we're gonna dip into the black. We're gonna start with the hands. Did you know that a penguin's hands are actually called flippers instead of wings? Because penguins don't fly, so they don't, they don't actually have wings. They have flippers like a dolphin to help them swim. So we're gonna be careful to get close to that little edge that you saw before. And we're gonna go all the way around the penguin. You want to let it dry a little bit and then we'll flip it over to do the back. Now that we waited a little bit for it to dry, let's carefully flip it over and paint the back. While that dries, let's go ahead and take this penguin and show you some fun things that we can do on the back. So what I decided to do was I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush, dip it in the white, and I'm going to sign it. I'm going to take the white and I'm going to make a small little dot. And then next to it, again, a small little dot. Then I'm gonna dip the end of my paintbrush right back into the white just a little bit. And I'm gonna go back to those dots and make them into a V shape. And now you have a little heart.
Then I'm going to wipe that off. And I'm going to dip into my orange paint the same way we just did. And I'm going to put a Z for my name. So you're going to use it like you would a pen. And you're going to create the letter that you want. Now that I signed it, let's go ahead and put the date. We're going to do the same thing. Just a tiny little bit of paint. And you could do it in orange or white. Either will show. And you're going to go ahead. I'm going to put 2020. And you can always go back over it if it doesn't come out properly. You can even ask your parents for help if you need. There we go. Now we have our initial and the year so that when we're a hundred years old will remember that we made this penguin in the year 2020. Now I think our penguin that we just painted is dry enough so I'll show you how to do the eyes. The eyes we do in the same style that we just did our writing. You take the end of your paintbrush, dip it in the black just like that, and See the eye? We try to get it right in the center. Just one little dot. And then we'll do the same with the other eye. And there you have it, our little penguin. I see that by accident we got some black here. So we can just try to scrape that off. And then we can rinse our brush off from the black. We can take a little bit of extra white and just touch that up. And see? It's like it was never there. Let's go ahead and close our paints up. If you have extra paints, you can ask your parents if they think you should hold on to it. This paint can be used on a canvas, on paper, you can do another little project. Then we have our ribbon to put in, but we'll go ahead and save that for a little bit later. We love how our penguin turned out. Now let's put it aside to dry while we work on our snowflake project. Let's see what snowflake craft we have today. craft comes with instructions on how to do your snowflake, a string to hang it up, and then the little pieces. The snowflake we have here is this one. You'll get one of these four. First, we're going to go ahead and put the string in. There's a little hole right on top. You're going to put this right through there. And there's different ways to tie a knot. What I like to do is meet the two ends together, pinch it with my fingers, loop it around to make a pretzel shape, and then put the two ends right through that loop and then pull tightly. Another way you can do it is by making a circle, looping one string under so that it looks twisted, then make another smaller circle and loop the other string under so that's twisted and then pull just like that. 
Either way works perfectly fine. Now let's continue our snowflake. We have one, two, three, four, five, six parts to our snowflake. But these little rainbow stickers, we only have one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to skip the top one since it's going to be covered by a hat. If you have one of the pieces like these two that don't have hats, then you should have six stickers to put on. The easiest way that I found to do the stickers is to pop out the back like this and then start to fold the paper in half and the sticker should pop right up. See? You have to be careful with these stickers because if you peel them up too quick, they might rip. If you're having trouble, you can ask someone for help. Next, we're going to put our hat together. So you're going to punch out these pieces. And then we're going to look at our instructions to see what it's supposed to look like. So this piece, we can peel the sticker off and it goes right up here. Push that on there. And then we have two small ones and a bigger one. So the two small ones are for the ends of the hat and the bigger one is for the top of the hat. So let's put those on. This, however, doesn't have a sticker. So you take this, which has two stickers, one on each side, and stick it here. But first, I'm gonna move my ribbon to be like that snowflake. Take that off, and then put on his little hat. And there you have it. I can't wait to see which ones you created. Now that we're done with our snowflake and we did so well putting the ribbon on, let's go back to our penguin and put the ribbon on him. He should be dry by now. So we'll take our penguin friend, we'll take the ribbon that you got in your bag, we can fold the ribbon up a bit, put it right on top, and pull it through. He was still a little bit wet, so if you wanna wait a little bit more, that's fine. Put him through, and then we, again, pinch, loop to make a pretzel, and then put the ends through the loop and pull. And there you have it. We hope you had a fun time painting and creating with us. We'd love to see how your penguins and your snowflakes turned out, so feel free to tag us on Facebook and Instagram at Mudworks07. You can also tag our friends the town of North Hempstead. We hope to create with you again soon, but until then, happy holidays.